Hello, it's time for level 10, which is called the Eel Deal. And this is one of the levels where we can actually get all of the treasures in one go. We can get the crystal, we can get the box gem, and we can get the secret green gem as well. All in one go. Not that I don't like this level, because I do quite like the sewer levels. They're lots of fun. Don't like the electric eels very much. But we couldn't have a level called the eel deal without some eels in it. And I'm invincible again! Right. Go to the right. You don't really have to get rid of all those nitros. But, jump through the wall. <laughs> I bet you didn't think of doing that. And at the end of here, we will find the green gem. There it is. Lovely. Now, turn around. Should be pretty simple, as I killed everything on the way and blew up all the nitros. My only concern is this electric water. And that electric water. And jump back towards... yes, there we go. I honestly don't know how people were expected to figure that out. Again, playing this in 1997, I think it was my brother that discovered that. I know it certainly wasn't me. Because when I see nitros, my first instinct is not to go, Ooh, let's run behind the nitros and see if we can jump through a wall that up until now you've never been able to do. Perhaps I'm a sceptic. There's a pretty standard boring bonus level done. But we've got 92 lives. Very close to 99. Right, go left this time. There's the crystal. And some boxes. And if you went the other way, you'd keep on going to the exit and completely miss the crystal. And your chance at the box gym. Always explore the dead ends first. Right, then left. Don't always follow the Wumper Fruit because sometimes the Wumper Fruit tell blatant lies. Filthy lies. And I do not take advice from fruit. If I was going to take advice from any sort of food, it would be a cheeseburger. I did not get where I am today listening to the advice of fruit. I don't care what it has to say for itself. I have now made myself want cheeseburgers. There's the nitro box. This is the first time you do monkey bars. Uh, I'm not sure if you do it in the next sewer level. You definitely do it in the third one. I hate that when they introduce a new mechanic that you barely use. You get all excited thinking, ooh, this is different, and then you never bloody see it again. Now this tunnel is very hot, and so are these little spiky things. So don't touch the tunnel and don't touch the spiky things. And there's the box gem. And because we are awesome, we managed to get the crystal, the box gem, and the green gem in one run.